Hey guys, Zilla here, bringing you buried Easter egg Rick Toff inside. I gotta build the parts on the guillotine. Uh, gotta use the boost on the big guy so he helps break some entrances so you can get the parts that you need. There's four parts you need to get total. There's one part right here. Um, there's a part in the tunnels where it's a diamond. It's like hidden in the back of the rocks. You'll see it shortly. And just get all the parts, get four parts, put in the guillotine. Um, helping do the Easter egg is one shoot, one goal. Josue, Sawzilla Jr., and myself, Sawzilla. Um, we had a blast doing this. Um, if you'd like to see some more Easter eggs being done, comment, let us know. Um, once you get the full parts put in, you'll have to use the the pel uh, pulverizer or paralyzer, whatever the hell this shit's called, and light up four orbs. There's a second right here. You just light them up. Um, don't break them. There's a different Easter egg where you break them to do max aside, but this is Rick Toffin's side that we're doing. So once you light up all four orbs, then you'll be heading towards um, outside. You'll see a floating lantern once you light up all four orbs. It's like a purple lantern that's floating around. You just got to cook a grenade, throw it up, or fall down. Uh, you pick it up. Once you pick it up, you got to fill it up. And to fill it up, you got to go into the haunted house where the, the ghosts are. And every time you kill the ghost, you'll hear like chimes. And um, when you hear the chimes, you just, um, you know, that's basically filling up the Latin. Once you fill up the Latin, you won't hear any more chimes. And um, you just got to go back to the rooftop where I'll show a Latin on the roof. You place the Latin in there, which we'll show you shortly after we take out these ghosts here. As you can see, you hear the chimes going on. Once you don't hear no more chimes, you know it's done. You can stay to get a free perk, or you can just bounce, take off. So um, we'll be leaving here. As you see, here's the roof. You got to place the Latin on the roof. When you place the Latin, it's going to show a code up on the wall. Uh, there's a other video that shows easily how to, there's a tutorial for this code. But basically, you just use the first letter there, which is like a code that you use to figure out what signs you need to hit. You need to have the galvanized knuckles or the bowing knife. Either will work. And there's like four or five signs, but you need to hit hit three signs in the correct order once you know what your code is because the code always changes but um there's a chart online you can get so you can figure out what yours would be and um when you hit it the third one in the right order you'll see a blue orb right in front of you, you just touch it and as you can see the blue orb just you know goes all over the map and will just spread out to touch it so that um it keeps going towards the guillotine and then eventually it'll get to the guillotine it'll power it up then you just gotta kill the zombies uh fill up over here, the, the blue orbs, as you kill them, you'll see the blue orb go on their hands. They'll have blue lights on their hands. As you kill them, we'll fill up the blue lights on the guillotine. And then you'll put the time clock, time bomb, on the middle of the bench. you got to put it in the middle of the bench. And um, once the round is ending, and right when the round is starting, a new round, that's when you activate and you go to an infinity round. And you have to look through dead bodies to find a switch. And the switch will be towards the last part of the Easter egg to complete it. Alright, we got all five orbs there. It's filled. So we're going to place the... Well, to a cook grenade by accident there. But we're going to place the time bomb in the middle of the bench. And I'm going to let you hear it from our perspective. And when the round's ending, round when it's going to start a new round, we get everyone next to the bench, to the guillotine bench, and we just activate and it'll put us in infinity round. Piece of cake. Get next to it. Get next to it. I'm next to it. I'm next to it. I'm against no. it. No! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Let's go look for the bodies. Yeah, Let's look for the bodies. Wait, there's the a body bodies. next to Find us. The there's some. It's usually Get the ones the next to us. Zombies. Wow, so. The yeah, LA you can't kill, kill zombies. Sawzilla so killed them. Okay. Nothing was found. Nothing was found. Oh, the zombie's gonna kill me! I gotta throw a monkey! I got a monkey! I got a monkey! Fucking an unlikely one. I did. Did we just get zapped like with the teleporter? I am, I am. I put it, I put it. Well, you gotta bell. go to the maze. 
еще. Hold on. Ah, uh, I can't buy double tap, huh? Necessary. Right over here, there's four switches in the maze. You gotta hit them in the right order. The easy way to do it is, uh, let's say you hit red and it shows a spark. You know red is first. But say you hit red and there's no spark and you hit, let's say, blue and there's a spark, then you know that that's the correct way. And you gotta leave the maze to reset every time. After you do the switches, you go to the well. Uh, you flip a coin on the well and then this target comes out. There's four spots. This is one of the spots. One behind. There's a spot behind here, which is the haunted house where I was at shooting the targets there. And there's um, one in the saloon, and I believe one in the jury room. Uh, here's, there's a second one here, which is behind the one you just saw. That's Josue right there nailing those. Here's the yeah. This is the one next to the saloon, outside the saloon. This is the one in the saloon. You just got to make sure you hit the targets, you know. Uh, you can't miss. got to have great accuracy. Um, you know, obviously, you got you to gotta have the, you know, beast accuracy. If you don't have a beast accuracy, I don't recommend trying it because you'll never get it. But you, you could try this. We did it our first try. I heard that it takes a lot of tries. But if you have great accuracy, you need to have four players with great accuracy. As you can see, all the perks popped up. And you'll be hearing the, the trophy. I got four guns! Adding a trophy. No trophy. Got it! No I got it! Where's the fire shield? Thanks I did it. Yeah! I didn't get it. I just got the trophy right now. I got four guns! <laughs> Yes. No, the window. No, the window. The window. The window. The window. Don't get any ideas. Get yeah, the paralyzed. Don't lose your head. It works. We're going next to you. Clock has been somewhat confused by our recent experiences. What does it have? What does it have? It doesn't have that other gun Thank you. 